And on the count of three, go, 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 and on the count of three, go, 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 and on the count of three, everybody what's up y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel hey girl hey make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you are not already sis make sure you follow me on instagram at the hair life and the hair life official so today's video is sponsored by wiggins hair thank you guys so much for sponsoring this video today i'll be showing you the installation of this beautiful hd lace wig it is loose deep wave 5x5 five five HD, 24 inches, and the density is 200%. As always, I'm showing you guys the inside of the cap. It was constructed very well. It came with three combs and some adjustable straps in the back for extra security. Um, here are the knots, you guys. The knots were really, really small. The lace was very thin and very easy to melt into the skin. Um, however, all the knots did not bleach. I will show you guys here in a second. I did bleach the knots for about an hour. And all of the knots did not bleach, but like I said, the lace was very easy to melt into the skin. Here's the texture of the unit before I washed it after I bleached the knots, and then I will show you guys after. The curls really popped out, and then obviously you guys will see in a little bit how I defined the curls even more, but the texture of this wig was beautiful. So here are what the knots look like after I bleached them for an hour with 30 volume developer. Like I said, they did not bleach all the way, but once I installed it, you couldn't really tell, but I just wanted to show you guys what they looked like after bleaching. I'm gonna run through this part really quick because you guys have seen me do this several times. I'm just parting out my part and I did decide on a middle part. Um, I took my hot comb, laid everything down. I will link this down below if anyone is interested in purchasing. And I just took my tweezers. This time I used my tweezerman tweezers. Um, if you are a beginner, I do not suggest these because they are extremely sharp and they will poke some holes in your lace just to give you guys a heads up. So um, after I got done plucking, I went in and I did some baby hairs. And I, I really have been liking doing just two baby hairs, but I was unsure. So you guys are going to see me do three. And then when I do my install, like... I'm just gonna do two, but I did show you guys that. So onto the installation process, you guys, uh, y'all already know, y'all seen me do this several times, but I did use um, some new products. So I call myself about to use the Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation, but I feel like I could have gone down a shade. I picked up the shade number nine and it doesn't look like it really on camera, but in my mirror at the time, it looked like it was too light. So I just grabbed my Morphe foundation, which I was wearing at the time. And I put that all over the hairline and in the parting area. Y'all know, y'all see me do this plenty of times. Um, and then for spray, instead of me using my regular got to be, I used the even, I used the black one. So break that down on the lace, took my blow dryer on a cool setting and I just blew it dry. I did um, put on a melt band for a minute just to melt everything into place.
Like this unit was extremely, extremely easy to install. I love the curl pattern. The hair was super soft. So everything will be linked down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know how you like this. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye.